Samsung Solve for Tomorrow is our STEM-based competition where students in grades six through 12 use STEM to solve an issue in their community. The three national winners had such incredible ideas, but it wasn't just how amazing their ideas were that ultimately got them to win this competition. One of the themes that we saw that was much bigger was the number who have used AI. And we had a group today that did oral cancer screening. We wanted to make a form of diagnosis that was accessible to everyone. So we're going in a step-by-step -step approach where in each step, we're making it easier for the next AI model to process the image. Our project is a smart bandage. Um, it's, it has built-in AI. It tells you where you are in the healing process, how well you're healing, do you have an infection? In our case, AI has been used to help these patients take care of themselves in a time they can't. The backbone of our sensor component is that it takes speed and distance reading, so these are the data points, and then it feeds into an algorithm that actually learns on itself. At Samsung, when we say AI for good, what we mean is we know that AI is going to revolutionize our devices, our consumers, the whole world. And it's part of our responsibility as a tech company to enable consumers through both our products and programs like Solve for Tomorrow to use AI to bring solutions to a lot of communities. I do think AI will be used to change people's lives and save lives. I think a lot of people have a mixed conception about what AI actually is, and I think that it's really up to us. At the end of the day, artificial intelligence is a tool. I think it's limitless, and it's just going to get exponentially better for the human intellect, because as long as we don't need to focus on the mundane part, humans can access what they've done, which they've evolved towards, into doing things I can't even imagine.